Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to talk about an AI software that I frequently use. The AI name is Prom AI and I'm I'm 100% sure that you have heard about it. So in this video, I'm going to test out few of the features where I will show you how you can use these features to your benefits and how a professional can use these features for their benefits in their career or if you are a student you can use definitely use this in your college because guys i remember in my times if this feature was there i would have been one of the top rated students in my college so this video will be a very fun and very uh, chill video for all of you and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i would request please go ahead subscribe to my channel and without any delays let's get started with the video So guys before even starting this video I would like to tell you that uh, I'm not doing a paid promotion or anything I'm just showing the features that are actually useful and what I have personally used and I think that these things can be used on daily life in an architect's life or an architecture student's life so without any delays let's start with it which feature should I start with uh, sketch to render uh, this is one of my favorite feature because uh, even if you are not using it uh, very often, if you have certain concept, you can definitely put something into it and use it. So first you will go here on the top and you will select an image that of course your sketch is one of the image and you can see that I have already tested few of uh, these sketches and it has done, it has done a pretty good job. So I won't be testing it again. I will be showing you with a fresh image. Uh, where have I kept it? Okay. I have taken few images from internet. I haven't used my model. So uh, here's one of the image and uh, I will change the prompt over here and say commercial shopping center i will also give an uh, information about what kind of background i want then you have options over here uh, you have various options here we have like v1 v2 v3 and you can see there are different criteria in every options over here this is fast rendering v1 this is like varied style and stuff and then v3 is the most advanced kind of rendering till the point I know because it takes every aspect of your sketch and renders accordingly then you have styles this is also a very important thing because here I can set what kind of style I want it to generate like I can want something different but here you have like I have already selected architecture styles so first is architecture rendering, architecture uh, realistic and there are a lot of different styles that you can select from depending on your needs of course. But for me it's architecture realistic and I usually select this. Then we will go ahead and select what kind of architecture scenes do we want. So here it is not a villa, of course, so I will not select that. It is a public building and a commercial building. So I will select these two. And then we have different modes. You can go ahead and check it out. I haven't tried a lot of modes in this, but uh, I always select this precision concept. And creativity level I have kept at 55. So it doesn't go too away from my sketch and it keeps the basic geometry and basic things in check. Then in advanced feature, we have like what kind of perspective you want, lighting you want. So I don't need anything in this. So I will just chuck it and then I will click on generate. All right, so it has generated something. So now let's go ahead and see how it is. Um, Okay, not bad. I think so. This one becomes too realistic. Uh, it has taken these lines as well. But of course, okay, this has 
Okay, pretty good results I can see over here. Let's see the next image. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why it has selected these. Probably I should be more specific about the uh, facade materials and things that I want on this. Okay, this is very standard Canadian style of housing uh, that it has made, like commercial space that it has made. Uh, overall, I will say that it's a pretty good generation. And here is one of the other image generation that I uh, generated before. So this is the bungalow that I uploaded and this is what it generated. So overall, if you'll see, like it generates very, very good images. It is good uh, specifically with bungalows and smaller structure. If you'll see this one, uh, this is also this was also a sketch and here it is. Look at, okay. Look at these generation. So guys, the next tool is region rendering. Uh, so here you can see that I have uh, two render images and you can clearly see that in one of the image, I have forgotten uh, to keep the dining table. Like I just wanted to give you an example. That's why I have rendered this. So this dining table, I want to insert it over here. How will I do it? First, can you see this image? So here you will... Uh, insert the image in which you want to include that dining table. Then you will uh, upload an image in which you actually have that dining table, okay? And now what you will do is basically you will place and probably try to have the same ratio of the image and exactly where uh, you have the dining table or you want to place the dining table, you will just select that entire area like this is the dining table that you want to place and here you go and you will just select this entire thing as you can see in this video and it will give you a preview. So here you can see the preview live that it has already inserted the um, dining table over here. So now what you have to do uh, is just add a prompt or you can just click generate directly and it will start generating your uh, new image in which you will have the dining table and it will also give you three options. You can select just having one option, but I think usually when you have three options, it's always better because um, you have more references over here. So now the generation has been completed and you can see that my new uh, render also has the uh, dining table that I wanted. So pretty good, pretty nice. Like here you can see that a little bit of offset is there, a little bit of error is there, but I think in few of the options, it won't be there. See, as you can see, like it has done a pretty good job. You might have to do a little bit of Photoshop but overall, it has tried to match the wood texture on the flooring. It has done a lot of heavy lifting for you so that you don't have to work that hard or go again in the software and render the entire thing again. So this can be one of the uh, good tools for you to have a quick add-on or quick edit to your render. Next tool is also very amazing. Uh, I love this tool because it did a great job when I was testing it. Uh, so this is called Erase and Replace. Uh, very chill tool. Uh, here, when you upload an image over here in the image upload section, here you and under that you will have an option, act on area like replace, retouch, recolor, insert object, retexture or remove. So I have taken uh, replace over here. And once you go in the main image, as you can see in my uh, video, so here it will detect the surfaces and objects automatically. You don't have to go ahead and select. So this becomes a very easy uh, way of controlling something. So I have just selected these walls and then I will say, turn the erased 
part two. So what should it turn it to? So I will say like supporting the structure. Let's generate and let's see how it does with this one. So guys, it has completed its process. Wow. Look at this specific generation, guys. Oh, wow. Like it did consider that there is a hollow space, then inserted the columns and also provided a grass hedge over here. Probably I would have done the same thing. Like if I was making these edits, it does have some black areas over here, but I think so in Photoshop, we can definitely go ahead and retouch these spaces. I'll say keep this. So guys, as you can see, it has done a really great job in overall performance. And there are a few other features that I would just like to give you an overview of. For example, outpainting. I have done few generations. I will just show you like how uh, it looks like. So for example, I have something over here. And what I will do is, uh, I have just asked model living room. I have just given one, one prompt, even not even a proper line. And this is what it has generated. You can see like there are few small uh, haziness, but when you see it completely and like if you can edit it a little bit, I think so it has done a good job in imagining what the full picture would be like. It, it has kept the lighting, it has kept the flooring, it has extended the flooring texture, it has extended the ceiling. So all of these things uh, makes a lot of sense for me because as an architect, as a user into architecture, I do use a lot of upscaling tool as well. Or even if I want to generate an image or extend an image a little bit here and there, which is not related directly to my structure, but it will help me in showcasing my render. This is a tool that you can definitely use for yourself. So guys, this was the complete video. Uh, I wish I could show you more in depth and more processes over here, but I was running out of time. But uh, these are the features over here. Uh, and I'm telling you like it will be a very helpful feature if you want to have something very quickly generated, edited or upscaled. This is the best AI out there because it does consider a lot of details that you sketch that is already there in the model and it also gives you a lot of control over the things that it does which a lot of ai lack so overall if you'll see this is one of the best and if you want to try it out if you want to go ahead and uh, check this ai out all the links are in the description so please go ahead contact them uh, connect with them or try out their AI software. They have a free trial as well. So please go ahead, check it out. And guys, if you like this video, please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. I am able to make this video just because of your support. My life is very busy. I am a working professional, but I still like to make these videos because I want you to grow with me and try out new things that are there in the market. So please, it's my request. Go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel.